A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 14, verses 19 to 28. In those days, some Jews from Antioch and Iconium arrived and won over the crowds. They stoned Paul and dragged him out of the city, supposing that he was dead. But when the disciples gathered around him, he got up and entered the city. On the following day, he left with Barnabas for Derbe. After they had proclaimed the good news to that city and made a considerable number of disciples, they returned to Lystra and to Iconium and to Antioch. They strengthened the spirits of the disciples and exhorted them to persevere in the faith, saying, It is necessary for us to undergo many hardships to enter the kingdom of God. They appointed presbyters for them in each church and with prayer and fasting commended them to the Lord in whom they had put their faith. Then they traveled through Pisidia and reached Pamphylia. After proclaiming the word at Pega, they went down to Atalia. From there they sailed to Antioch, where they had been where they had been commended to the grace of God for the work they had now accomplished. And when they arrived, they called the church together and reported what God had done with them and how he had opened the door of faith to the Gentiles. Then they spent no little time with the disciples. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Responsorial Psalm from Psalm 145 Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Make it known to men your might and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages, and your dominion endures through all generations. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. May my mouth speak the praise of the Lord, and may all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Alleluia, alleluia. Christ had to suffer and to rise from the dead and so enter into his glory. Alleluia, alleluia. The Gospel according to John chapter 14 verses 27 to 31. Jesus said to his disciples, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives, do I give it to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. You heard me tell you, I am going away and I will come back to you. If you loved me, you would rejoice that I am going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you this before it happens, so that when it happens, you may believe. I will no longer speak much with you, for the ruler of the world is coming. He has no power over me. But the world must know that I love the Father and that I do just as the Father has commanded me. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs> so I remember um, when 
I started feeling some pains. I, I, I mean, I, I knew there were level pains. I thought, I believed there were level pains. And I was lying comfortably in my bed, reading one of my favorite John Grisham books, and thinking to myself, hmm, what is all these foods women make about labor pains, labor pains? This is me now. I've gotten a couple of contractions and phew, there's, it's, I mean, it's nothing to write home about, right? So I was like really wondering what, I mean, these women must be really, really weak to make all this plenty noise about a little tickling in the stomach here and there. So I remember a few, um, a few minutes later, the doctor came. He was doing the rounds, checking all the, the, the women there. And uh, he came to me and found me reading John Grisham. And uh, he asked me how I was doing. I told him, oh, I'm doing fine. And uh, I think I've, 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 I'm getting some contractions. So he just looked at me and smiled. And he asked me, uh, what novel are you reading? I told him John Grisham. He said, and he kind of said, well, if you were really... Um, in labor, you would not be reading. <laughs> and I just laughed like, oh, well, uh, another comedian. Anyways, so um, I remember the time the first contraction hit me. Oh, I can't remember in which direction that John Grisham book landed. The pain, you know, I closed my eyes. I saw myself knocking at the gates of heaven. I knew my time had come. <laughs> I was just waiting to hear the voice of God telling me, welcome my daughter. <laughs> and at some point, the pain started subsiding. It went down, went down. And I found myself in the room again. I don't know if I managed to pick up the John Grisham book, but I didn't bother opening it again. I just put it under my pillow because I knew it was going to be, I knew that was the end. So, wow, what a shock. That was my first time in the labor room, as you could have imagined. And I kept wondering, how did I get here? I thought of how I could escape, but there was no way. If I wanted to have that baby, I had been nurturing for nine months, almost 10 months, looking forward to meeting. If I really had to see this girl, I would have to go through a few more contractions, many more contractions. Before I knew it, the next contraction hit. I struggled my way through it, struggled, struggled, went to heaven again, came back. I, I can't really tell whether I was heaven or hell, but I went somewhere and I came back. My dear sister, my dear brother, in the first reading of today, St. Paul tells us it is necessary for us to go through lots of hardships and challenges to be able to enter the kingdom of heaven. It was necessary for me to go through that terrible, harsh labor pain, which got my John Grisham book flying around somewhere in order for me to be able to finally meet my daughter, the baby, had been looking forward to. Dear sister, dear brother, I don't know what pain you're going through right now. I don't know what challenge you're going through right now. But I want to encourage you. There is no pain that is useless. There is no challenge that is not eventually going to turn around into a blessing for you. 
at that moment when you're going through it it feels so wrong it feels so terrible it feels so bad but believe me if you're able to close your eyes and go through it because you know god's grace is always sufficient his grace was sufficient for me that first time that i entered the delivery room his grace is sufficient for you right now his grace was sufficient for paul and the other disciples who went through all those challenges so do not give up think of a time in your life when you went through a very difficult moment maybe your boyfriend dumped you or your girlfriend dumped you it was tough isn't it i've been there several times but look at your life now maybe because of that you met someone else who treats you like a queen or the king that you are today maybe because of that pain that difficulty you decided to go back to school and learn something and today you are reaping the fruits of that your hard work i don't know what it may be i don't know what you're going through right now but that challenge that suffering that pain is going to bring forth a beautiful baby for you a few hours after those harsh labor pains i carried my beautiful daughter in my arms it was the most wonderful experience that i've ever made in the same way as you go through this challenge as you go through this difficulty i can assure you that very soon it will yield it will bear a beautiful baby for you whatever that baby may be it might be a house it might be a new job it might be a new degree it might be a new spouse but most importantly i pray that this challenge that you're going through will draw you closer to god and bring you closer to our eternal goal which is heaven if you've enjoyed this edition please go ahead and give us a thumbs up drop a comment in the comment section let us know what are your own thoughts from today's reading do you have a suggestion do you have a question share with other people and if you've not yet done so please subscribe to our channel god bless you bye bye, bye.